Welcome to Connie's Truffle House. Look who's in the truffle kitchen with me today, friends. Our son, John, is back. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. Today, we are going to make one of John's favorite side dishes. That's why I invited him. And what are we going to do? Corn casserole. And it's going to be gluten-free. I'm very excited about this. I've been making this recipe for a long time with gluten, and now I've tweaked it. So let's get started. Sounds good. All righty. John, do you want to start pouring in the corn? Yep. Yep. This is just two cans of corn. One is niblets or spring corn that you drain, and the other one is a can of cream style corn. If you want to use fresh frozen corn kernels, that's good too. Perfect. The next thing is the sour cream, and that's an eight ounce tub. I highly recommend the full sour cream and not light. I thought this was whipped cream. <laughs> better and I'm using lightly salted instead of unsalted just for a little bit more flavor good and one egg that I whisked and it was at room temperature great and if you want to start stirring that around mm -hmm. the next ingredient friends is the gluten-free cornbread mix now it's a little bit heavier than in the old days with this recipe we used a box of Jiffy corn muffin mix so this will make it a little bit denser, but it's delicious. All righty, you want me to do this? Uh -huh. right? There you go, you just fold that around. Awesome. And I'll put in a little bit of salt and pepper. That's just to taste. We serve this at Easter, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. It's always on the table. Perfect. See how easy this is? We're done. Six ingredients, one bowl. We're going to pour it up into a 10 and a half inch round quiche pan and I buttered it. You can spray it. I've got the oven preheated to 350 and just pour it in and smooth it out on the top. If you would rather use a larger pan, it won't take as long to cook and it will be a little bit thinner corn casserole. The smaller the pan, the thicker and the longer it will take to bake. But I've got to show you where this recipe came from over 25 years ago. We were part of this church in Houston before um, we moved overseas, and it is full of wonderful recipes. And Kristen will zoom in on this. This shows you how many times I've been, I have made this recipe. So that's kind of a fun little thing. It's beautiful. We're going to put this in the oven. It's probably going to take onwards. 45, maybe 55 minutes, put a knife in there. It should start getting golden brown on the top, and we'll be back in a minute. The corn casserole is out of the oven. Friends, it took about 50 to 55 minutes. The gluten-free product is a little denser, so it's gonna bake longer. Why bye? Definitely. All right. I love making this in the quiche pan because you can cut it out like a pie wedge, and it looks so pretty on the plate. There you go, John. Thank you. You're welcome. Another thing I did is when it came out, I spread a little bit of butter on the top for it just to ooze in. And I kind of already got started. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know what you think. Very good. So, John, how does this compare with the gluten corn casserole? I can't tell the difference. It's so good. This is great news for my gluten-free friends out there. Try it. I know you're going to love it. Your friends will not even know it's gluten-free. Nope. Yay. It's great. John's favorite side dishes are sweet potato casserole and corn casserole. You probably watched the video back at Thanksgiving with us making sweet potato casserole. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Only the second watch video ever. Yes. And CTH. <laughs> Behind who? Behind Colt? I think behind the McCoy family. Uh, I'm not worried about them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, worried. friends, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for joining us today. John, thank you for being here. Thanks for having me. You did a great job. Poppy would have joined us in the taste test, but he's with the grandkids. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. 
in two words, friends. I'm going to keep mentioning this until Blake Shelton comes to Austin, Texas. The challenge is still on. Who out there watching right now can bring Blake Shelton to Connie's Truffle House? I've got to compete with Blake. <laughs> You're welcome anytime. Okay. Love y'all. Bye.